All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy TJTV, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, or hopefully, can't tell too much, but I'll be freehanding this video. Um, I don't have a lot of my camera equipment with me right now, and in a second, I'll show you why. But this will probably be one of the shorter videos, um, just because I have other videos to go with it. I just haven't actually put them together. Um, but everybody's been asking what I've been doing, how come I haven't been uploading videos, why I've been so behind on videos, um, if I still do YouTube and things like that. And the answer is yes. Um, now, the second answer to that is where I've been as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I think it was the most recent one, or I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but I think it could have been the most recent one. Um, it should have been a phone, uh, what was it? Why did I go brain dead? It should have been a um, snow foam review. Um, I mentioned that I had some other things going on. So, for those of you that know me, you already know the story, but long story short, um, I switched jobs. I was in retail for five years, and then I switched to another industry that I was inspired by my granddad, um, which is transportation. Um, not just you know like uber or anything like that but big boy transportation um, truck driving i went with the company that was a food service company and loved it um went through school and everything got my cdls that whole process if you want a video on that i can break down that process as well um a few of my other friends that i actually know and are in the car scene um were also in the school as well um, so that was pretty cool but long story short ended up going to school getting my CDLs um, started with uh, food service and stayed there for a few months more than a few months but I got hurt a couple of times and I'll just say this if you want to start off trucking a company that will pay for your CDLs in my opinion is the way to go um especially if you enjoy that company you enjoy what you're doing now i did enjoy what i was doing i will never say that i didn't however i got hurt a few times and it was dolly work um you might have 20 stops okay um let's say you have 20 stops you're in a 48 foot trailer and you have somewhere between seven to 1100 cases. Um, it all depends on the day and where they have you going. That in itself is a lot of work. Now, yes, it is in a, in a sense, it's like a free workout. You know, you're getting paid to work out. Um, but it just wasn't for me. It was wear and tear on my body. We had dollies. We didn't have anything electric or anything like that. So you're breaking down pallets. And let me see. 48 foot trailer, you have all the pallets. One, you have to make room. So you have to pull the ramps out. Back ramp, side ramp, whatever it is. You have to pull the ramps out, break down pallets, stack them on dollies, um, run them up and down the ramp, maybe 20, 30 times, depending on how much um, product the 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 company is buying. Um, and it was just a lot. I did enjoy it. I do have to admit, I did enjoy it. I was home every day, off on weekends. Um, it was just a lot though. Like I said, I got hurt a few times and had to make a decision like this just isn't it, you know? I can't continue to hurt my body, be tired. I was always drained, you know, for somebody to be home daily, always drained. You don't have time to do anything. You don't have time to go anywhere. You don't have much time. And the schedules change each each day, each morning. One day you could, you could have to be there at one. Next day, two. 
next day five next day 12 might have to leave at 11 at night to go on a longer route it all depends but i just it just wasn't for me um i still do have a few friends that work there and we still stay in touch for sure but with that being said i did end up leaving the food service industry and i went otr um i'm, I'm with the company now that still has a pretty good schedule i'm off on weekends um, currently, unless I pick up other shifts or I run something else, I'm working Monday through Thursday, off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I do have more freedom and time to do things compared to always being tired. Now, the only downside to that is, like I said, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That means OTR, I'm sleeping in my truck. Um, I have an international, which is pretty sweet. Um, haven't done much to it. It is pretty, pretty unorganized but I'm still getting there um, but so far I've been to through and to seven different states um, but the schedule is pretty much the same each week for me unless again I'm asked to go somewhere else or dispatcher asked me to do something else or whatever the case is you know if I want to pick up extra hours I can um, but I've met a lot of people this way you get to see different parts of the world you get to see nature at its finest you get to meet other truck drivers and hear different stories you're in truck groups and you get to talk to people about their different um paths and how they do things how to learn things how to i don't know i just like otr it's it's great you know um but with that being said, like I said, right now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay? Now, I'm home often, a few of those days, actually. Uh, well, more than a few. But if I want to sleep in my truck, I can. Most times, I'd rather just go home. Um, but it's great because I can run my own schedule. I, I run my clock. You have 14 hours to use. You can drive 11 hours. Three of those hours you can be on duty, whether it be fueling, doing something with your truck, whatever the case is, but you have 11 hours to drive. Well, yeah, you have 11 hours to dri drive and then you have to take a break before you hit eight hours. Um, so learning how to run the clock and doing everything is pretty, pretty simple, but everything else is just kind of self-explanatory and I enjoy it. Like I said, if y'all want a more in-depth video about that, for sure, let me know and I'll drop one. Um, but I, bro, why you just cut your lights on? Sorry, I'm at a truck stop and I, mean, I don't understand. Uh, well, I guess he just, I don't know what he's doing. But, um, I'll show y'all around the truck real quick and then I'll make this video, you know, short and sweet. So, it's really not much. Like I said, it's kind of messy just because one i just got done moving around all of my stuff but two um when i'm driving it's more organized for sure but i got my gopro up there and that should let y'all know that i'm going to be bringing some footage for y'all because i have been getting footage of driving the window is not that messy i just parked i didn't have enough time to fuel so i'm gonna clean the window and everything in the morning but you got your international gauges your ELD phone holder, all of that stuff. Um, just got dinner, but I got my reflective jacket, laptop for videos, all of that stuff. I'm in the process of trying to get my GoPro light and everything set up. I got a couple more mods, um, that one, and then the waterproof video light, and I was using that extra light to help me out. But all in all, it's pretty sweet. You get extra storage, you have two beds i went ahead and bought an extra mattress for this one um right now i'm just using the rigged up light from what i just showed you i got some extra steeler stuff you know because i like steeler stuff but um i do have my lights set up so i can get kind of like a better vibe at night you know um but other than that it's pretty sweet here hold on i'll cut everything out real quick let's see how it looks Cut this off. So, yeah. That's what it looks like at night. 
And if you're sitting, well, they're leaving. What they doing? Please don't hit my truck, bro. Oh, you're towing a truck. That's crazy. Yeah, wasn't expecting that, but I'm assuming they're trying to find a spot. Um, that's the only thing. Truck stops, not that many spots. So it's first come, first serve. You got to figure it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Got the vibe going. But with that being said, all right, let's get this back set up. Flaws in work. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get y'all straight. All right. So, like I said, it's not much to it. Um, you have the, I guess you want to call it extra cab, um, sleeper berth. Now, I'm not going to show... Hold on. Sometimes you, so when you're at truck stops, you always got to watch out for other people. Some of them don't back up as they, I'm sorry, some of them don't look as they back up. Um, some of them just don't care, but you got to make sure you keep an eye out. And this guy, that other truck spot, I was just looking to make sure he didn't hit my truck. Now, I'm not going to do an outside video of the truck right now. One, it's dark. Two, I think I have some pictures I can probably plug in. Um, but I drive the uh, sleeper cab with a 53 foot trailer always um, when I was at the other company it really taught me a lot so when I went to school you were training in 48 foot trailers so you got the best of both worlds now uh, when I was at the job that I was at first most of the time you'll drive a 36 or a 48 foot trailer not much difference like I said you train in a 48 so that's normal 36 is smaller and you can squeeze into other places a little bit better 53 was a different ball game now it didn't bother me that much and I didn't have many issues with it for the simple fact that in my mind I'm thinking okay bigger trailer wider turns nice and slow take your time that's the thing I love about where I'm at right now is you can take your time doing stuff you run your own schedule and your own clock as long as you make the deliveries on time you don't hear anything from anybody and when you were at the other job it was boom 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 so like i said all of that lifting and stuff might not seem hard or anything but when you get to a company and you have 20 minutes to no i'm sorry over exaggerating let's say you got 30 35 minutes to unload 80 90 200 something cases that's tough it's not for everybody um again would i go back and do it if i if i had to yes would i choose to if i didn't have anything else to do in the trucking industry yeah for sure because i know i can do it however i prefer no touch freight is what it's called what i do no touch freight i drop trailers i back up to docks i back up to locations they unload I'm out. I go to my next location, drop the empty, pick up a loaded. Then I come back to the DC distribution center or the warehouse where I um, park the truck for the night, lock it up, boom, boom. I'm out, home, boom. So there's a lot of different things in the trucking industry. Um, definitely something to check out if you're looking to get into a field where you can make some good money and you have a sense of freedom there's plenty of things to do in the trucking industry um the only thing i can say is be careful be safe take your time don't let people try to bully you off the road don't let people try to rush you you know your time you run your time you'll learn that you run your time and you make sure that you have enough time to get wherever you have to go. Anything else does not matter. Don't pick up the phone while you're on the road. And that goes for just driving, period. But don't pick up the phone. If you have um, earpieces or anything like that, hands-free devices, go for it. But you got to pay attention. You have to watch out for the drivers because, boy, I thought, man, yeah, it's interesting. Um but i have another video of that too so i'm not going to just spoil all that out but i wanted to make this one first just so when i started posting other trucking videos it made sense and it wasn't just like a 
where is this coming from? You know, um, sorry, thought I had some over here. Um, but hopefully this would make sense to why I've been MIA. I've been working, I've been trying to get things in order and now I'm getting to a point to where I can work with the schedule or I can make my schedule work for me. Put it that way. That's, that's, that's the biggest goal. Make your schedule work for you. So now that I have gotten to a time frame where I can do that, you will be seeing a lot more videos. Um, I still have some edited that I haven't posted yet. I still have some in the YouTube um, queue, if you will, that I haven't published and made public yet. So I have some stuff coming and I have some other videos that I am working on as well. Also trucking videos. So you will see those added to the channel. But for those of y'all that have been with me through this journey i love y'all i appreciate y'all i thank y'all for those of y'all that have been patient enough to still stay subscribed and rock with the channel even though i haven't been uploading i love y'all i thank y'all and i appreciate y'all and for those of y'all that are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and look through the videos find something you like i have something for everybody and i'm going to be making more playlists direct videos so if you come to the channel and you don't want to see car stuff but you want to see travel stuff go to that playlist vice versa if you come to the channel and all you want to see is car stuff that's mainly what the channel started as so i'm sure there's plenty out there for you and there's plenty more to come but honestly that's all i have i just wanted to give y'all an update on everything that was going on um how i've been going what i've been doing why i haven't been posting uploading and things like that but i'm getting back into the swing of things all right now with that being said if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos that I upload. Look in the description below for any links or extra things that I may have. I know I have a couple of um, um, sponsor links to like lights and that shampoo video that I just did, the foam video that I just did. Um, so I'm going to try to drop all of that stuff as well. But stay tuned for some more content. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'm glad that y'all are still rocking with me. I haven't given up. I'm not going to give up. Um, life just happens, you know. Sometimes you got to take a break. Sometimes you got to get things in order. Sometimes you got to take time to better yourself. I'm still going through things, but I'm not going to let that stop me, you know. Um, other than that, that's all I got for y'all. It's, I don't know what time it is, but I do know I got a 10 hour reset. I have to be back up at five. It's probably around nine something right now. It's 11, 12, 12, 12, so about eight hours ish um, to get some sleep. And then I got another six hour drive. Um, so other than that, stay tuned for some more com content. Ugh, comment, come on now. Yeah, stay tuned for some more content. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Definitely continue with the comments and I will catch y'all in the next video.